Why? Let's take a look at porters. The name porter was first used in the 18th century, talking about street and river porters in London. Now the history of stouts and porters are quite intertwined. For quite some time, the name stout referred to either a strong porter, an extra porter, a double porter, or a stout porter. Soon people just started calling a strong porter a stout. For a long time, particularly in London, the porter became extinct, though it's recently been revived. And quite generally speaking, it's just a lighter bodied version of a stout. The first porters were brewed from 100% brown malt, but now it's quite possible to brew porters with as much as 95% pale malt. Can you believe it? One of the most exciting versions besides the English and the Irish version, is the Baltic Porter. Now if you do not know what the Baltics are, please hop to Google now. The Baltic Porter generally has a higher alcohol content and like all ales, is a top fermenting beer. Finally, let's talk about America, where the West Coast Beer Cast takes place. In America, barley was quite expensive, so they began using sugar, molasses, corn, and licorice. So the American Porter has all these qualities, and those, my friends, is the Porter.